Hey everybody, welcome back to another iTutorials2 video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can prank your friends easily using Terminal. So what this prank is going to allow you to do is it's going to not allow your victim to be to open a certain program that you do not want them to open. So for instance, in today's video we're using Safari. Uh, if they have this file on their desktop or anywhere on their computer, they will not be able to get into the program because the commands that or the file that we're going to make in a couple of minutes is going to keep quitting the process, okay? So you will not you will not be able to get back in there unless you have a uh, certain command that will give you at the end, okay? So, let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to open terminal. I have it on my dock, so you can either search it on uh your spotlight or launchpad. So once you have terminal open, the first thing you're going to type in is cd desktop. What that's, what that's going to do is it's going to save the file we're going to make on the desktop. So you can type in cd documents or cd photos, cd videos, whatever file you have or you want to save the file in. But for now we're making life simple, so we're saving the shell on the desktop. Once you've typed that in, you are then going to type in nano whatever you want to call the file but make sure there's a dot sh at the end okay so we're going to type in uh, test dot sh press enter now we're in the file okay so now you're going to type in while space in brackets true do enter then you are going to type in kill all whatever web browser or program you you would not like them to get into okay so for instance we're using safari so it's capital s a f a r i now for those of you who are using google chrome okay since there's a space between google and chrome make sure that there's quotes in between google chrome okay because there's a space in it so I'll just give you an example right now. I'm not going to do it. It's going to be quote Google Chrome. Okay. See how it it's in quote quotes. Sorry, I can't speak today. It's because there's a space in between it. Okay. But since we're doing Safari, we don't have to put quotes. So S A F. Okay. There we go. Kill all Safari. Press Enter. Done. Now you're going to press Control X Y Enter. Now, as you can see, it made the file on your desktop, or depending wherever you save the file, like in the beginning of the video. So now that's done. I'm going to show you a demonstration on what the file is going to do. So if you type in shtest.sh, it's going to keep saying, no matching processes belonging to you were found. Technically, that means that it's keep quitting the process. Okay. So if you try and open Safari or whatever web browser it will not open okay but when you close terminal you are sorry you are now able to open it okay we don't want that okay that's bad so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back into terminal you're gonna type in CD desktop one more time and then you're going to type in the following command, okay? This command is in the description because it's pretty long. But make sure you replace the it.sh or whatever.sh with whatever file you named it, okay? So I named it test.sh. So you're going to type in test.sh, okay? Now, press enter. So now when you close terminal completely, you will not be able to get into Safari. Pretty good prank, okay? But they won't be laughing if this lasts for a long time, okay? They might be <laughs> gonna kill you, okay? So, yes, you had your laugh, okay? Uh, now I'm gonna give you the commands to stop this, okay? So you're gonna go back into Terminal. Once again, you're gonna type in CD Desktop. And then you're gonna type in Kill all sh okay pretty short command kill all sh so that quits the process 
So now if you quit terminal, sorry, you will be able to get into Safari again. So the video is not done yet, okay? If you're sending this file to your friend, as opposed to putting it on their computer with your with their computer, okay, where if you want to send it, we want to make the file look a bit more realistic and more like a photo, okay? What I would do is I would sorry, I would rename it if I can okay, I would rename it images.sh, okay? You can't replace the dot sh if they're not really a computer wizard whiz, okay? Uh I don't think they'll really care about the uh what kind of file it is, so I think they'll ignore the sh. What sucks is that, oh, actually, wait, you might be able to change it, I'll just see, images, okay, yeah, it works, okay, so you can name it whatever you want. Now, to make it look more realistic and look like a photo, what I would do is I would right click, press get info. So, well, actually, for now, I'm just going to be safe and put dot sh at the end, okay? What I would do is I would take a photo, okay? So let's just go and get a photo right now, okay? Uh, hi. So let's take this photo, for example. So I would take the photo, drag it on the left side of uh, the file.sh or whatever you called it, and now the picture is as a JPEG photo so that so now they'll think it's a photo okay and by the way this does not work on PC so yeah there you go so you can send it to your friend but you have to compress it so you would right click and press compress images.sh so now it made a compressed file so a zip file you send the zip file to them okay you will not be able to send uh, the images.sh okay so I'll get rid of this now and then you would send this file so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any problems, please comment in the comment section below. See you guys.